Good day and welcome back to Coach Group. In today's video, we are going to be doing the how to play spin series, specifically how to play off spin. This is the fourth part of the series. If you do enjoy the stop of video, please leave a comment below and tell us what you'd like to see in the future. Also please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the content as soon as it releases. We are looking at how to play off spin as a lot of bowlers in the middle overs like to try and get through the overs quite quickly by bowling off spin. And a lot of batting all rounders these days play, uh, play as off spin bowlers. So we're trying to give you options to capitalize on their bowling. We are going to accomplish this by me throwing off spin with an overarm action. Zenon's going to be batting. I'm going to give Zenon a field placement. He is first going to start by looking to rotate. And then after that, we are going to start looking at boundary options, taking maybe a little bit more risk in the shots. The field we are going to use today is going to start with a 45 on the leg side because obviously it'll turn it into you. Deep backward square, slightly backward on the boundary. Mid wicket, slightly straighter. Cow corner on mid wicket's right hand shoulder. Long on, maybe a bit squarer. I'm hoping to turn it. I'm hoping. Mid off up, extra cover up. Cover a little bit straighter and then a backward point. Obviously trying to turn it through the gate if you try and push into the bigger gap between point and cover. Happy. For the first part of this video, we're going to be focusing on the rotation. Low risk to get runs, looking for singles or twos. Sometimes while even playing these shots, you may get a bit fortunate and still get a boundary. The shots we are going to be looking at is coming down the pitch and hitting the ball down the ground or lunging forward from the crease to hit the ball down the ground towards long on. We're also going to look at going back into the crease and working it off our hip towards deep square. Going off our front foot, looking to working it towards square. We are going to be looking at sweeping the ball from just on the stump line. Because obviously with a field set like this, the bowler is going to be looking to bowl a bit straighter. We are going to be looking to play the pull shot as soon as we find some length in the ball. So we can jump onto the back foot nice and quickly, hitting down on it. And then we're also going to look to try and drag the ball off the back foot on a punch between mid-wicket and way long on it. Please go look at our previous videos that we have covered all of this in to find out the technical aspects for each of these shots. Important to remember is that you don't need to score off every ball. Sometimes a bad ball will come along that will help you increase your scoring rate. We feel here at Coach Creek that trying to score off of four off of every six balls is a good target to aim for. And if you can get more than that, even better. Make sure that you use the depth of the crease and coming down out of your crease to take away the spin and to play the ball after it has spun. This will give you more control. Next up, we are going to be looking at our boundary options. These are more high risk shots that are potentially slightly more premeditated, but with the high risk comes a slightly higher reward. And with doing these well, you may put the bowler under a bit of pressure as well, therefore making them maybe move more fielders out to help you with your single options and maybe some more two options. The shots we are going to be looking at is the power sweep, where we're looking to try and sweep the ball hard from off stump between deep square and mid wicket. We are looking at the reverse sweep, trying to get a pass point for four, because obviously the offside feels up. The reverse paddle sweep, where we're trying to just get the bat on the ball, getting the ball nice and fine past the keeper. We are looking for the slog sweep, looking to hit a flat and between cow and long on. And then we are looking to hit the ball over the offside, whether it be over extra or over mid off. Important thing to note, is even though we are looking for a boundary option, we do not want to try and force the ball into the area. We still want to play a nice, fluid shot to enable us to still have the control to hit it where we want. At the same time, you want to make sure that your head is moving towards the line that you're trying to hit, as this eliminates some of the risk that might be, might be caused by being beaten slightly in the flight or by the turn, making us nice and tight and making us play better. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like below. Also please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get all our content as it releases.